Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about levothyroxine. What is this drug levothyroxine? Actually this drug is a thyroid hormone supplement. The prefix levo indicates this drug is an optically active compound and this levothyroxine is the levo isomer of thyroxine which is expressed as T4. So this levothyroxine is a thyroid hormone supplement and it is available with different brand names such as Synthroid, Levo-T, Levoxil, Levothroid, Unithroid and Tyrosint. And being a thyroid hormone supplement, this drug is particularly used in the conditions where there is deficiency of thyroid hormones. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about this levothyroxine, what are the different clinical use of this drug, how it acts, what is the mechanism of action, what are the important precautions, side effects, all these things we will discuss in this video. The release of thyroid hormones is controlled by HPT axis. So this is the hypothalamus and this is the pituitary and this is the thyroid gland. Now when this thyroid gland is not working properly, there is a deficiency of thyroid gland. Then it can release a small amount of T3 as well as T4. So in such conditions, we can observe primary hypothyroidism resulting in various symptoms in the patient such as increased cold sensitivity, decreased heart rate, decreased basal metabolic rate, thinning of the hair, drying of the skin, fatigue, muscle weakness, all these are the symptoms of hypothyroidism due to the decreased release of thyroid hormones such as T3 as well as T4. In such conditions, levothyroxine can be given externally to control the symptoms of primary hypothyroidism. Similarly, sometimes the pituitary gland may have some dysfunction resulting in the secondary hypothyroidism. So in this condition, there is a decreased release of thyroid stimulating hormone and when this TSH is less released, again it may result in the decreased thyroid hormone release resulting in the secondary hypothyroidism. So in such conditions to control the secondary hypothyroidism, again levothyroxine can be given. And finally, when there is a deficiency of hypothalamus, it may lead to so many types of hormonal disorders. And when it affects decreased levels of thyroid hormones, it results in tertiary hypothyroidism. Because hypothalamus is going to release one of the hormone TRH, thyrotropin releasing hormone, which activates the pituitary. And then this pituitary release the TSH, which is then going to activate the thyroid gland. So when there is insufficient release of TRH, it may result in the decreased release of thyroid hormones leading to tertiary hypothyroidism. So again, in such conditions, levothyroxine can be given as a thyroid supplement. So whatever may be the reason, whether primary, secondary or tertiary hypothyroidism, whenever the thyroid hormone levels are reduced, levothyroxine can be given as a thyroid supplement in order to control the symptoms of hypothyroidism. So this is one type of clinical use of levothyroxine. Now let us see another clinical use of levothyroxine. Suppose the pituitary gland is having the overactivity, so it releases more number of TSH. So thyroid stimulating hormones are excessively released, which activates the thyroid gland. So when they excessively activate the thyroid gland, it results in the increased risk of thyroid cancer. So in the patients with well differentiated thyroid cancer due to the elevated levels of TSH, again the levothyroxine can be given which can suppress the release of TSH from the pituitary gland. Now this is the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of levothyroxine. Here we can find this moiety. This is nothing but the tyrosine. So thyroid hormones are made up of tyrosine residues. Now here we can identify the iodine moieties. We can observe four iodine moieties are present within the structure. That's why this is represented as T4, tetraidoderivative. So levothyroxine is a tetra derivative of thyroid hormones. Now let us see how this drug acts. Levothyroxine is a thyroid supplement. So when it is given, it can increase the activity of thyroid hormones. So it can act on the different types of organs. Among these, one of the organ is the liver where it is going to increase the metabolism. So basal metabolic rate is going to be increased by levothyroxine, which results in the increased heat production. And this drug can also act on the heart, resulting in the increased contraction, increased cardiac output. 
and you can also act on the central nervous system where it can control the mental state of the patient. When these levothyroxine levels are excessively increased, it increases the mental state resulting in the increased anxiety, agitation, irritability. But under normal levels, it can control the mental state and increase the alertness in the patients. Similarly, it can also influence the development of nervous system and it can also increase the growth of renal system. All these actions of levothyroxine are mediated through various types of proteins and mediators by which it can increase the basal metabolic rate as well as growth and development in the various organs. So now the levothyroxine can enter into the cells where it is in the T4 form but it can be converted into the, its active form. So the active form of the T4 is the T3. The conversion of T4 to T3 within the cytoplasm is mediated by deiodinase enzymes. These are the enzymes which remove one of the iodine such that T4 is going to be converted into T3. Now the T3 is the active form of thyroid hormone which can target the DNA within the nucleus. On the DNA, the thyroid receptors are expressed. So now T3 can bind to these thyroid receptors. Now when these thyroid receptors are activated, they will undergo dimerization. But these thyroid receptors are heterotype nuclear receptors. They will dimerize with retinoid receptors. And again for this dimerization and activation, they require coactivators by which they can affect the DNA resulting in the gene transcription and this gene transcription results in the release of mRNA. Now this mRNA can promote the protein synthesis by which levothyroxine can prepare so many types of proteins. It can release few of the enzymes which are going to increase the metabolism within the liver. For instance, the lipid metabolism can be increased leading to increased release of free fatty acids. Similarly, carbohydrate metabolism is also increased and it also promotes the release of few of the pumps which are responsible for ionic transport. For instance, sodium potassium exchange pumps are more expressed due to the action of levothyroxine and it can also release a few of the proteins which acts as receptors. For instance, beta adrenergic receptors are more expressed resulting in the increased cardiac activation. In this way, levothyroxine can increase the basal metabolic rate and it can reduce the thyroid deficiency by restoring the thyroid hormone levels. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of levothyroxine is that this drug can stimulate the heart such that it can increase the heart rate which may result in the palpitations in the patients and it can also increase the thickness of the cardiac wall. So suppose this is the initial thickness of the cardiac wall by the action of levothyroxine for longer periods the wall thickness is slowly increased which results in the increased risk of cardiac arrhythmias, angina or even myocardial infarction. So care should be taken in the patients when this levothyroxine is prescribed. And if the patient is already having any cardiac problems, then this drug should be carefully given. During the treatment with levothyroxine, if any symptoms associated with arrhythmia or angina are observed in the patient, then immediately the dose should be reduced in order to prevent cardiovascular complications. Second important precaution of this drug in the use of mixed edema coma. This is a condition where there is a thyroid enlargement. Suppose if it is due to hypothyroidism. In this clinical condition, there will be less blood supply to the GA tract. So in order to treat this mixed edema coma, thyroid supplements are given by oral route. Then they are going to be dissolved within the GA tract and they are going to be absorbed through the colon. But very few molecules can enter into the systemic circulation due to the decreased blood supply to the colon. So in such conditions, levothyroxine is ineffective in the oral route because of inappropriate absorption. So here oral route should not be selected. Instead, levothyroxine can be given by IV route such that the drug can directly enter into the systemic circulation. Similarly, in the patients with adrenal insufficiency, the decreased function of adrenal gland results in the decreased release of cortisol. So cortisol levels are reduced. In such conditions, we can give the drugs such as glucocorticoids. So glucocorticoids can control the adrenal insufficiency. But when they are given along with the levothyroxine, the levothyroxine can promote excretion of the glucocorticoids through the renal system. So in presence of levothyroxine, glucocorticoids are more excreted, resulting in the decreased activity of these drugs. So in the patients with adrenal insufficiency, 
the glucocorticoid therapy should be initiated before the use of levothyroxine. Similarly, levothyroxine can also increase the levels of glucose, so it can increase the risk of diabetes mellitus in the patients. Similarly, levothyroxine can affect the bones and it can reduce the bone mineral density. So this can be clearly observed as increased levels of calcium within the serum as well as increased levels of phosphate. And these two components are more excreted through the renal system. So because of increased excretion, there will be decreased bone mineral density. So in the patients already having any decreased bone mineral density, this levothyroxine should be carefully given. What are the side effects? The side effects of levothyroxine are just similar to the symptoms of hyperthyroidism, increased levels of thyroid hormones. Since this thyroid supplement can increase the thyroid hormone levels, so it can produce the symptoms just related with the hyperthyroidism. With levothyroxine, we can observe increased heat sensitivity because of increased basal metabolic rate and fatigue can be observed as a side effect. Increased appetite can also be observed as well as increased weight loss. Even this drug produces weight loss as side effect, but still this drug should not be used for the treatment of obesity because the weight loss is the side effect of this drug, not the found classical effect. Similarly, this drug can increase the insomnia, increase the anxiety in the patients. It can increase the heart rate resulting in the palpitations and at a high dose, it can also result in the hair loss. All these are the side effects of levothyroxine, just similar to hyperthyroidism. It can also reduce the bone mineral density and if you have the gastrointestinal symptoms such as abdominal cramps, diarrhea can be observed and it can also produce some menstrual irregularities and muscle weakness in the patients. How it is given? This levothyroxine is available as tablet, capsules, even solution and this drug is given as a single dose per day. But levothyroxine should be administered on empty stomach. A 30 to 60 minutes gap should be maintained before the breakfast in order to show better efficacy of the treatment. The dose of the drug is individualized based on the gender of the patient, age, other comorbid conditions. Generally, this drug is initiated at a dose of 1.65 mg per kg body weight. And the dose can be slowly increased to 12.5 to 25 mg per kg body weight based on the control of the symptoms in the patients. So that's about this drug levothyroxine. Levothyroxine is a levoisomer of thyroxine which is expressed as T4. It's a tetrahydro derivative of tyrosine residues. And this T4, when it is administered into the body, it is going to be converted into active form T3 triidothyronine, which can bind to these thyroid receptors present within the nucleus. And it can undergo dimerization with the retinoid receptors, resulting in the gene transcription and release of various types of proteins, which increase the metabolism development and growth within the organs. That's why levothyroxine can be used in the primary hypothyroidism due to the deficiency of thyroid gland or secondary hypothyroidism due to the deficiency of pituitary or tertiary hypothyroidism due to the deficiency of hypothalamus. And this drug can also be used to suppress thyroid stimulating hormone production by the overactivity of the pituitary gland. So that's about this drug levothyroxine. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.